What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the vlog. This is going to be my peak week. So I'm going to document literally everything that it takes in order to win TNT Muscle in Edmonton on June 22nd. So that's this Saturday. Today's Wednesday, June 19th. Um, and what I'm going to do with this vlog is we're going to just do pretty much everything leading up to the show, um, how I'm looking on a daily basis, what I'm eating on a daily basis. It's going to be vlog style. I'm just going to film it like um, super, super casually and just give you guys literally the ins and outs of what's going on, what's going through my head, what my coach is changing and all that stuff. This is by no means a plan for you to use if you want to like get like do a show or get in shape or, 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 or whatever the case is. This is a customized program for me on my peak week that's going to get me the gold medals that I want to achieve. All right, so don't take this as advice. Don't take this as anything that I want you to do because everybody's different. And if you're going to be doing a competition, I would recommend getting a coach that knows what they're doing. All right, so that being said, let's get into the vlog. Like I said, it's Wednesday, June 19th. We're going to do my weight really quickly. Um, and then we're going to do a quick arms and abs workout. I know I did arms in my last or in my second last video, but you know what? Every day is arm day. And because one of, arms are one of my weakest areas, I got to train arms at least twice a week. So you're going to see another arm workout. So just let it happen. All right. Then after we do that tomorrow, uh, we're going to increase the, the carbs again. You guys are going to see what I'm eating. Um, I'm going to take you through each meal that I have it, it, like throughout the day, how much salt I'm having, all that stuff, literally the ins and outs. Um, and literally just go through what it takes to win a CPA, Canadian Physique Alliance, IFBB show, all right? Uh, and this is a regional event. My Van Pro qualifier is three weeks after that, so we gotta win this show or place top three in order to qualify. I'm not too worried. I know for a fact that I've outworked literally everybody on this prep, and I'm very, very confident in the package that I'm bringing to this stage. So let's get excited. Let's quickly do a morning wait. One eighty five point two. So that's good. I think the last time I did a vlog style video that before my YouTube video with AJ, I was up way up in the one nineties. Um, and so this is good. This is perfect. This is exactly where we need to be because I'm five, seven and a half. Whoa, we're zoomed in because I'm five, seven and a half. My height uh, class for between 5'7 and 5'8 is 182 pounds and so I'm three pounds off of that just got a little bit left of, of water left to lose there's absolutely no more fat left on my body as you guys will as you guys will see when I do my posing here in a minute um, so everything's right on track I'm gonna be the biggest guy in my height cat category which is perfect we're gonna be right on the money and then I'm assuming to be honest to be a lot heavier on stage because you weigh in the night before and then I probably eat throughout the night to like gain up some size, fill up my muscles with more glycogen and get them looking full and big. All right, so let's do some posing real quick. Um, just to be, just to warn you guys, I'm not uh, pumped up at all. I'm not tanned, I'm hairy, <laughs> I'm flat, I'm watery because I've been drinking seven and a half liters of water a day. So this is, this is not 100% of what I'm gonna look like on stage, that's for sure. All right, let's do it.
Just finished posing, feeling really good, about to hit my meal one. Again, it's still Wednesday, so let me show you exactly what I'm eating. It's 9-11, I've been posing for the past like hour and a half. I'm so freaking hungry right now. So take a look, I got 175 grams of chicken breast, 75 grams of red potato, uh, and then 1,000 milligrams of sodium. So I'm getting that combined from uh, salt, as well as Frank's buffalo sauce, and um, a pickle. So take a look. Boom. Meal one. I'm so excited right now. Let's get it. Oh, commence the time lapse and now. <laughs> Say good morning to this guy. Hi, buddy. Are you going swimming today? We're going to drop him out off at the pool and get him to get an arm workout in. Arms and abs. Another thing. My Jed came. Oh, yeah. Let's do a quick unboxing. See what I'm going to wear today. Okay, so. What is this? This is pants. Oh, no. This is shorts. Gray shorts. You got some denim shorts. Oh, I'm excited about these. 
some spotted kind of like black and white shorts. We got a black tank, red tank, peach tank, and a gray tank. I wanted to get a bunch of tanks for the summer so that I have lots of stuff that I can shoot in. And lots of stuff I can show up to games in. So we'll see. When I snap my fingers, I'll be in a new outfit. So we all back in the gym. Last workout before the show. We're doing arms. We're gonna get a beautiful arm pump. So today we're doing high reps, sets of 20. 30 seconds rest in between. We're super setting. So we got one bicep exercise, one tricep exercise, set of 20 of each. 30 seconds rest, maximum blood flow, maximum pump. Go for it. Let's get it. Operation Pro Car.
because it forces you to keep your entire body tight. When I do my planks, especially before a show, I focus on keeping my quads tight, my glutes tight, my hamstrings tight, my calves tight, my abs tight, my lower back tight, my shoulders tight. Literally every part of my body is working in the plank. And if you have every single part of your body working in the plank, you should only be able to last a minute to a minute and a half because you're gonna be so fatigued. So really look to work on those planks. back at the house getting meal two ready. I got an amazing text from my coach Dustin Cosman saying that I get 100 grams of uh, red potatoes for meal two and 150 grams of chicken again with a thousand milligrams of sodium so I'm super happy about that. That's a bump up from my initial 75 grams of potatoes so literally I get five more meals today 100 grams of carbs with each meal alternating between white rice and red potato and I'm excited. Guys, the work is done. The hard work is done. 16 weeks have all cum culminated to this moment and it's finally my time. So I'm super excited. I'm going to have an amazing day. I'm going to edit uh, my YouTube video that you guys are going to watch this week. Get started on this YouTube video. Do a little bit of work for my clients. Um, and then just hang out with family and have an amazing day. I might get a, a tan a little bit later too. So let's commence that food time lapse. Alright guys, meal two. We got... 100 grams of red potato. You see that? 100 grams of red potato, 150 grams of chicken, tablespoon of buffalo wing sauce, uh, spinach salad with onions, peppers, and zesty Italian dressing, fat free, and some salt as well. This is gonna be amazing. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this for weeks. Usually, what I do is I watch some YouTube, you know, get me pumped up, posing, posing videos and stuff. Let's do it. Meal three, we got 100 grams of white rice, 150 grams of chicken with uh, buffalo wing sauce, salt, and another spinach salad. And I'm eating this meal with this guy. Say hi, buddy. Say hello. Hi. Oh, he waved. That was so cute. <laughs> Let's do this thing. I'm so hungry. Dustin told me that I would get hungrier after I started eating carbs, and I feel absolutely starving. Like, starving. Now for those of you that have ever prepped before, you know, when you're on prep, the plate gets licked clean. Just ate my, what was it, fourth meal, I think. And I was just starving and I for completely forgot to vlog it. So, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, but anyways, I got my trusty water jug here. This is the rest of my water for the day. 
As you guys know, drinking seven liters. This is the rest of it. It's about 5 p.m. We're about to go get a haircut, trim this mane, get it looking proper, and we're also going to go for a tan, try and get a little bit darker so that the tan evenly coats the body, if you know what I'm saying. I am so happy right now, you guys. You can't even, like, if you've never prepped, you don't know what it's like. It is a spiritual experience, getting through something so grueling, so difficult, and so mentally challenging to finally get to peak week, finally be finished your workouts, and finally start the fun. Right Now it's time for action. Now it's time for fun. Now it's time to eat, and it's time to get pretty. It's time to get tanned up and go and battle it out on stage. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. I'll see you guys at the barber. What's up guys? All right, so instead of going to the barber, we are at Fit For Less right now just because the barber that I like didn't have a spot available, so we're gonna go quickly 10, and then we're gonna get a nice trim up. So, show you guys how that, how that all works. Um, another thing, I'm freezing. Like, I notice that when I have low body fat, I'm cold as hell, just always, just freaking cold, man. It's like when you when your body fat's low, it's like your body doesn't have insulation or anything like that. I think that's what it is. I'm literally sitting in my car right now, and my temperature is at 32 degrees. Sorry, my car's so dusty. It's super gross. I haven't cleaned it in a while, but um, and like it's like 12 degrees in Airdrie right now, and I'm literally freezing. It was like freezing rain earlier today. <sighs> I'm so excited to go in the warm sun. All right, I'll see you guys in there. Don't mind if I do. All right, guys, on the way to Fifth for Less Airdrie right now. And I want to just quickly touch base on that tan subject again. I know a lot of competitors don't get tans, like a base coat, before they have that, that stuff applied. And honestly, because the competition tans are so dark, like, your body needs a little bit of a base tan if you want to come out super even. So even though I'm like a mixed blood, I still get a nice tan for it. All right, I would recommend that to anybody, even you white folk. All right, guys. So, a quick little physique update for you. Full of water right now. Still flat. Like six liters of water deep, but I'm still the leanest I've ever been. Very happy with my condition. Covered in some spray tan juice. Got to go on the tan bed. See you guys on the other side. Yo, it's so funny. These guys at Fit for Less probably look at me so weird. I literally, <laughs> I got a membership like two months ago. And I go in there like three times a week just to tan. I don't even work out there. First of all, because the dumbbells don't go high enough. They only have 75 pounds. That's not even close to enough weight. Second, it's terrible lighting. You know me, I'm all about the lighting. And third, it's usually packed. Like packed, packed. It's like good life level packed. So I don't go there. The only reason I go there is to tan. And as soon as my shows are done, I'm gonna cancel my membership until next year if I'm still living in Airdrie. <laughs> all right, y'all. If any of you live in Airdrie, or if you want to get the best cut without having to go into downtown Calgary, then definitely hit up Main Street Barbershop. This guy right here, Sam, this is the guy. I literally, every time I come here, I call for you, bro. <laughs> He's the man, I'm telling you right now. If you guys want the freshest cut, Sam, Main Street Barbershop. Let's get it. Check out the gem I found. Waiting on the barber. There you go. Thank you very much. Here. Okay, let's go. This is a pose that I cannot fix for the life of me. So freaking hard. Coach wants me to have hanging hammies, and then boots flexed. I have no idea how that's possible. I guess we'll see in a couple days. Boom! Looking good. Feeling good. You got the double lines. Feeling good. About to go home. Hit up meal six and, or five and six. Pick up the fam. And have a good rest of the evening. I'll see you guys back home. And we are back at home, guys. Ready to eat the last meal of the day. We just put Hendrix down 
For bed, it is approximately, it is 8.40 p.m. About to get the last meal in. Finish off my little bit of water. How much water do I have left? I got a tiny bit left, let's see. After this right here, it'll be seven liters. Oh yeah. I like to stop a little bit earlier before bed so it's not too, so I'm not paying too, too, too much in the night. But yeah, check out my meal, guys. 100 grams red potato, 150 grams chicken, tablespoon of buffalo, tablespoon of fat-free ranch, and 420 more milligrams of salt, Himalayan pink salt. Oh, so good. I'll tell you guys right now, my other two preps, both my WBFF preps, my last coach had me cut salt before the show, like completely cut it. And I'll tell you right now, I've done both. High salt and low salt, high salt wins every single time. My energy is way better, my food tastes way better, life is way better. So if you're looking for a coach, make sure you find one that knows how to manipulate salt properly. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Oh, I'll see you tomorrow actually. We're gonna resume this thing Thursday, one day closer. Good morning everybody, welcome back to the vlog. It is, what day is it, Thursday? Mm -hmm. Thursday, June, what are we, two days out? The 20, 20th? Oh my gosh, guys, it's Thursday, June 20th. I'm super, super excited. I woke up the driest and leanest I've ever been in my entire life. We're about to do a weigh-in. Today's uh, vlog is going to be what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do some posing practice. Joseph's gonna help me get my posing ready for the music. Uh, then we're gonna go to, I'll kind of show you a little bit behind the scenes of my photo shoot that I'm doing later today. And I'll also show you everything that I'm eating today as well. Um, I want this to be a full in-depth experience for you guys, just showing you exactly what it takes in order to win two categories. <laughs> We two categories. All right, so let's quickly start with a weigh-in, all right? Let's do it. One hundred eighty-three pounds, you guys. Yes. Oh my gosh, I was so stressed out. Absolutely, like, so, so, so stressed out a week ago and two weeks ago um, because I initially thought I was over 5'8". I initially thought I was 5'8 and a half and I measured myself, like, with my father-in-law, like, actually, like, did a real measurement because every time I've ever <laughs> measured myself, look who's awake. Hi, buddy. You want to be in the video? You want to be in the video? Mom is over there eating like the best looking bagel I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at this bagel, you guys. Oh, soon that will be me. But I got shows to win first. Anyways, um, yeah, so I thought I was 5'8 and a half, but I'm not. I'm 5'7 and a half, which means that I know I'm, I'm a shrimp, which means that um, my weight, I thought like the entire prep, 20 weeks leading up to this moment, that I would be able to be 190. So I, I like, we worked to be 190. And because I'm 5'7 and a half, because I'm in between, I have to be 182. So guys, 183, two days out, everything is on track. I'm gonna send some pictures off to coach now. Uh, we'll show you a little bit about posing practice. We'll show you the food. We'll show you everything that's going on, you guys. And I hope you're loving the vlog so far. I'll see you guys soon. All right, guys, meal one is served. Same as yesterday, 150 grams of chicken, 100 grams of, uh, red potato, and then a thousand milligrams of sodium from various sauces and salts. Boom. I can't tell you how excited I am to eat this right now. It is currently 9.30. Plan for today, gonna go to the mall. I need some new earrings because I lost one of mine. Aldo Accessories, if you guys want good earrings, Aldo Accessories has the best. This poo guy's having breakfast. Hi, buddy. What are you eating? Your pancakes, but you dropped them all on the floor. Oh, well, that's too bad, isn't it? I'm gonna have to get you some more. But yeah, so we're gonna head to the mall, so I'll show you guys that, show you guys the earrings that I buy, and then I'm just gonna vlog it, guys. Like, I enjoy vlogging. Like, I can honestly say it's super fun, so I'm just gonna show you guys the ins and outs of my life for the next little bit. See you soon. All right, guys, I'll quickly show you what Hendrix is having for breakfast. We got a little spelt pancake here, and some mashed banana. We're doing baby led weaning, so I don't know if you guys know what that, is but basically we let him feed himself so that we don't have to spoon feed him um, 
the benefits of this are that we get to feed him all foods, veggies, fruits, uh, everything, nuts. We get to test everything early um, and make sure that he likes everything. He'll never be a picky eater. He already eats asparagus. He already eats pickles. He already eats all kinds of veggies, fruits. He loves pancakes. He loves all food, but that's because we've given him everything to experience. So I'll show you. So the way it works, hey, good buddy. I literally let him figure it out on his own. So he gets to choose what he wants to eat. He gets to choose if he throws it on the floor. He gets to choose if he eats it. And then what happens is, as we come off of, he's eight months right now, as we come off of, um, of milk formula and stuff like that, um, he gets to choose how fast he likes, he eats solids. So that's why it's called baby light weaning. So let's commence the time lapse right now for breakfast. <laughs> Guys, this is so good. Mm. It's funny, remember, if you remember my last YouTube video, you'll probably actually watch it today, because I'm going to be posting it today. But if you remember, if you remember my last video, um, I was hating eating all that salt, right? Like, I, he increased my salt, Dustin increased my salt too fast because I wasn't tracking it. And it felt like garbage, bloated, terrible, watery. And now I'm eating a thousand milligrams with each meal and I crave it. I love it. I feel great. My energy's high. I'm dry and lean. I feel awesome. Next time I see you guys, I'll be at the mall. In the mall, going to H&M right now. Gonna get a shirt. I've decided, as you guys know, I'm a WFF pro, right? I gotta, I gotta stay fresh, you know what I'm saying? So, we're gonna suit up post-show. So I gotta get myself a nice shirt, make sure I look good, make sure that those gold medals look really, really nice around my neck. Let's see. What? She just want a v-neck? Yeah, just a v-neck. I'll get a white v-neck. Probably a, should I get a black one or a white one? I don't know. What do you think? And there it is. I like to keep it nice and simple. If you're anything like me, you lose earrings 24-7. So what I do is I just buy this right here. That bad boy gives me a bunch of earrings. And then I can lose them all, all the different sizes, one at a time. Pro tip. Two. All right, guys, just got back to the house. Had a great chat with Coach. And he actually increased my carbs a little bit, decreased my chicken. So I'm having 125 grams of chicken and 175 grams of red potato. Uh, he also decreased my salt to 500 milligrams per meal. So that's what this looks like here. Look at that. Boom. I'm so freaking happy. More carbs. So the plan is to continue to dry out, continue to get leaner, um, and um, fill up my muscles more, fill my, fill my muscles up with glycogen. Tomorrow I should wake up lighter, he said, even though I'm eating more food because he's taking out the salt. So, again, that's the perks of having a coach that knows what he's doing when it comes to the minor details that make all the difference. All right? Let's commence this time lapse. <laughs> Just finished editing. 
my YouTube video that I'm posting today. Super excited for it. Chest workout with AJ. Make sure you watch it. If you haven't yet, I'll leave a link somewhere here to watch it. Um, and now we're about to eat meal number three. Yeah, meal number three. All right, 125 grams of chicken, 175 grams of white rice, and 500 milligrams of sodium. Let's do this thing. All right, guys, what's going on? Time for meal four. I just finished shaving my entire body. Looking super good, feeling super good. Um, we're gonna do some posing later. Uh, actually, man, this is so busy. I gotta eat my meal, and then I gotta come back, post my YouTube video. Um, yeah, post my YouTube video, eat another meal, go down, pick up my custom cake, do a photo shoot, come back, eat another meal, and practice posing. It's gonna be a super long day. Let's get to it. <laughs> right now in the staff lounge because I got the connects you know what I'm saying we're about to we're just getting a meal in right now it's 740 starting my shooting five minutes run I ran super late behind getting everything done but we're just getting this meal in now 125 grams of steak uh, tenderloin steak and 175 grams of potato I'll keep you guys updated in the shoot how everything goes all right I'll see you soon all right guys so check out where we're at Jim, Calgary located location. Meeting up with my cousin Marcel. We're gonna do a sick photo shoot in here. We'll set up some lights and everything. Moving properly. I'm feeling good. Just ate my steak. Might take a couple minutes for that to go through, but we'll see how we're looking. I'll keep you guys posted. What's going on guys? Current shape, the photo shoot. Feeling really good, getting the camera lighting set up, getting everything set up all proper. Feeling really good, feeling confident. Two days left till showtime. Keep you guys posted. And that's it, that's a wrap. I'm here with my cousin Marcel. We absolutely smashed that out. Had an amazing shoot. He did such a great job. He brought all the lighting, he brought everything. You guys are gonna see the all of the different edits coming out on social media here in the next couple days. I'm super pumped up. I'll definitely leave a link below this video to check out his website his, and his social media. And you guys definitely hit him up for any shoots you're interested in in the Calgary area. All right? I'll see you guys back home for meal number six. Hey guys, just got home from the shoot after grabbing some last minute groceries and uh, filling up a tank of gas for our drive tomorrow to Edmonton. Um, I'm about to eat meal six right now. It's a little bit later than I would have expected. It's 10.20 at night. We got 175 potato, 125 chicken, and 500 milligrams sodium. Um, we'll see how this goes down. I'm super excited, I'm super hungry. I'm really, really tired. I'm trying to keep my cool a little bit, you know? I'm trying to just make sure that I don't get stressed out because I don't want to increase my cortisol levels at all. So let's get this thing going. Man. And we're done guys. That was so good. Last meal of the day. I'm super looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow I get to eat even more food. I finally got my energy back. The past two weeks, I've had zero energy. Like to the point where like I had just had brain fog. I couldn't think, I couldn't feel, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't work, I couldn't focus on my clients, I couldn't focus on my family, I couldn't feel love even. And Finally getting these this food in me like I feel like myself again finally, so it's it's a huge huge relief So that's it guys That's the end of my seven liters of water. That's gonna end today's episode. Oh my gosh wait just kidding There's one more thing. I have to show you guys. It's very very important Watch this Stand this up right now Are you guys ready? Right before my shoot, I picked up this cake. This 
literally the best cake I've ever seen in my life, and I'm about to explain it to you, and it's gonna blow your mind. Okay, ready for this? This is a double chocolate cheesecake filled with Nutella, peanut butter, salted caramel around the top, homemade salted caramel, homemade hot fudge, covered in Oreos, Reese's peanut butter cups, Toblerone, Rolo, and Ferrero Rocher. Okay, this is what I'm eating after the show. I'm so excited right now. Look at that. That's art. That is a, that is a piece of art. That's going to be so good going in my belly. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. It's Friday morning, one day out from TNT Muscle. And I can honestly say that this is... Last night I had the best sleep that I've ever had this close to show. Um, I took a little bit of Benadryl, about 50 milligrams of Benadryl, because I usually get very anxious this close to sh show time. Um, and I took it about 15 minutes before my, my sleep, went to sleep at about 12-ish, got to sleep right away, which is unheard of for me this close to show. Usually I'm anxious, my mind is running all over the place. I was really looking to like just be as peaceful as possible, meditate, and just kind of get myself to sleep. I got to sleep by like 12.15 and woke up at like refreshed and renewed by uh, 6.45. I got to check in and eat right at 7. So um, I haven't washed my face or anything. I hope I look decent right now. Uh, whatever. It is, it is what it is. Like I said, this vlog isn't about being perfect. It's about me showing, sharing you guys my journey. Um, so I hope you like it. So let's quickly do a morning wait. So as you guys know, five, seven and a half, I have to be 182 tonight on the scale. So it's up to coach now for him to let me know what to eat exactly today to keep my weight low, but also to keep my muscles full. Um, it's definitely going to be uh, interesting to see how I, how I, uh, how everything plays out. I'm going to take you guys through every single step of the day. Um, so stay tuned. All right. I'm super pumped. I'm going to get my breakfast in. I'm going to have my regular meal one. He's probably going to change things out for meal two, three, and four because I'm teetering on a little too heavy right now and I have no food in me. So by the time I get food in me, it's going to be, uh, I'll be heavier. So we may need to cut water a little bit early. He may need to reduce sodium, whatever the case is. We're going to figure it out and we're going to get it done. I'll show you guys meal one. All right. So, uh, actually one last thing before we get into, um, my meal, we're going to quickly do a little posing session. I'll show you guys kind of what I'm looking like, what my physique's looking like. It's raining right now. So the lighting is not very good. And because it's super, super early, the lighting is not going to be super good. So, um, I hope it looks decent, but regardless, you guys are going to get to see kind of what my physique looks like. All right, let's do it. Thanks back. Yeah. I know that you ain't sending that. Yeah. I've been waiting by my phone for days, just waiting By my phone for days, just praying That you would tell me it's okay again That you would tell me it's the same again, yeah And I hate just what this came to But I really couldn't blame you Lost you, now I feel lost Ain't nobody but my fault Now I'm dumb and it's blunt, yeah Stressed out, I can't front, yeah Look what you're doing to me, look what you're doing to me I know you're just finding yourself, and this who you're choosing to be Yeah, but don't forget the things we shared I wanna know how you feel, and I'm not there Yeah, and I'm not there I've been waiting for that thing.
All right, guys, after a quick chat with Dustin, sending in my check-ins, ready to eat meal one. I'm eating it later than I'm supposed to, an hour later, so we gotta get this down, all right? 200 grams of white rice, 100 grams of chicken, we gotta get this down. <laughs> Right, guys quick outfit change now it's time for meal two it's 9 43 we got to leave here at 10 30 to drive up to Edmonton eating meal two right now 100 grams of steak tenderloin or sorry strip loin and 200 grams of red potatoes all right and then another 250 mils of water Let's go. Boom, that was absolutely delicious. Feel energized, feel ready to rock. All right guys, we're on the road right now. It's 12.10. When did we leave? 11.15. 11.15. We left at 11.15, so we're about an hour in. Um, so far, I got my song ready for my classic physique posing, uh, which is going to be really, really exciting. I'm super excited about the song that we chose. It's a really, really good song. Um, and then I also got I'm eating my food now. 12 p.m., 500 milligrams of sodium and literally just... 200 grams of white rice <laughs> so he cut out my chicken because we got to make sure that we make weight so remember this morning I was 183.6 I think and I got to be 182 or under between the hours of 3 to 6 p.m. today for weigh-in so what the plan is is we're gonna eat this food we're gonna drive to Edmonton go check into the hotel we'll get there around 2 30 once I get there, I'm going to weigh myself. If I'm 182 or under, I'm going to go straight down and we're going to do the weigh in so that I can get that over with so we can start carb loading like even harder. Um, if I'm not 182, then Dustin's going to pull some magician stuff, he said, and uh, make me 182 <laughs> but by, by the time 6 p.m. rolls around. So I'll keep you guys, I'll keep you guys posted with how everything goes and uh, let you know how this white rice with buffalo sauces real good <laughs> all right i'll see you guys soon what's going on guys we arrived at the hilton double tree west edmonton we're just giving little bubs some food right now and uh, i weighed myself on the scale and i'm 182.4 so i haven't eaten since noon um and at noon all i had was that rice like you guys saw so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to wait about an hour try to pee again lose that 0.4 pounds and then uh, I'll let you know how it goes. And then we're going to go down, weigh in, and get this party started. Guys, we made it. Five, seven and a half, 181.5 pounds. I am so freaking relieved. What time is it, babe? 5.30. 5.30 right now. Pooh Head just woke up from his nap. Say hi to Pooh Head. Zoom in on Pooh Head. Hi, Pooh Head. <laughs> Give us a smile, buddy. Give us a smile. Yeah, and there's Mama Poo Head, being a Mama Poo Head. Say hi. Hi. Cool guys, check this out. I'm literally I've been excited for this moment for the past month. I get to eat my rice cakes with honey and jam. I'm eating right now. I'm eating 200 grams of uh, white rice, 50 grams of steak, 500 milligrams of sodium, 40 grams of honey, 40 grams of jam, and four rice cakes is literally going to be the best thing ever. Let's do a time lapse. <gasps> That this feeling is better when I, than what I thought. Mm. 
Now I get to eat the rest of the night. Mm. Blackberry jam with honey. Okay. You should have one. It's money. All right, guys. So we just heard from Dustin, and he's on his way to the hotel. What I'm gonna do right now is, with the family, we're gonna go drop off my song selection, um, which you'll see. I'll make sure that on the show day YouTube video, like it'll actually have the music in there, so you can hear it. Um, but, buddy, no, he always finds things he shouldn't put in his mouth to put in his mouth. Literally, it's just that's like constantly what he does. <laughs> He's always on the hunt for things. Um, but yeah, so I just ate my food. Oh, I feel so much better. I still really feel low energy, to be honest, because I didn't really get a lot of meat, and I'm so used to eating a lot of meat. Meat always gives me a lot of energy, and it, low meat is kind of hard right now. But we're gonna get through it. We're gonna. I'm pretty sure I get my muffin soon, my blueberry muffin, which is super exciting. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for Dustin and then do some posing. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I see ya. Check it. We're here. TNT. Yeah, buddy. Let's get it. Check this out. Athlete's room. All checked in. I ended up making weights, which was nice. I think they're sure. Oh, for sure. So now I just gotta drop off my MP3. Are you the MP3 squad? Yes. Yes. Okay, I got it right here. Look at this guy looking around. Hey, buddy. You having fun? You about to watch the show? <laughs> Guess what, Hendrix? Guess what? Dada gets to eat a muffin! Oh. He's like, don't look at me. <laughs> He's like, don't look at me. Oops. I don't want to be looked at. I'm, I'm too cute. I'm too okay, we're back in the room. Dropped off the MP3. Um, 6.15. I'm starving, so I told Dustin he still hasn't seen me yet. And the athlete's meeting is at 7. And I'm freaking starving, so I get... Finally, I get my blueberry muffin. I'm so excited to eat that. And I get another 100 grams of rice with 50 grams of steak. I think he's going to give me more food when he sees me and sees how flat and terrible I look right now. But we're just going to have to wait until that moment. So I'll keep you guys posted. Guess who I found in the lobby? Big D. Let's go. Coach Dustin Cosman in the house. Getting everything sorted. Making sure that I'm full enough, lean enough, dry enough. Making the plan right now so that uh, the next 24 hours go as smooth as possible because remember that number one goal is two gold medals and one overall title. Number one goal. Two overall titles. Two overall titles. <laughs> two overall titles. <laughs> Let's get it. All right. I'll keep you guys posted. I'll let you know ex what my next meal is and we'll go from there. All right, guys. Coach has spoken. We got four more rice cakes, 40 grams of honey, 40 grams of jam, and then we got 100 grams of white rice. 50 grams of chicken, no salt. All right, I'm about to mow this down, super pumped up. About to give my son some, what are you giving him? Potatoes. Potatoes! Some unsalted potatoes. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, and then hit your first quarter turn. Quarter turn to the right, they're gonna say. Good, and you squeeze your glute, good. good. Uh, quarter turn to the right. Oh, sorry, this hand needs yeah. to be like this for my tricep pop. See that? And your bicep. And my bicep. So I gotta remember that. Hold it out. Shh. And your chest. That's good. Take a quarter turn to the right. Shh. Squeeze your glutes. So I'm gonna go like this. Flex that right now. I just want to see chest. And 
in front of a buy? Straight in the back. Get that. 
gotta get that fullness. We'll see what Coach has to say. Let's go into the check-in. 